In this video, I will explain how to um, execute Python scripts written for KenOE from Jenkins. Okay, so as part of this um, uh, video, I will explain how to uh, execute readily available Python scripts which are written for executing KenOE. Uh, software okay and uh, the first uh, prerequisite for this is to download the Jenkins um, software and um, oh, so to you need to go to the Jenkins IO download URL okay like the one displayed here and uh, you will be uh, having two options here okay you will get two options here one it's a stable version and the other one is a weekly releases i recommend you to go with the stable long term release long term support releases okay and uh, before downloading check whether your hardware and software requirements are met okay now if you see the hardware and software requirements for windows pc uh, minimum 4 GB RAM, 50 GB disk space is required. Okay, this is the recommended one, not the minimum space. And uh, you should have Java installed in your PC. And uh, which Java version to use? I recommend to use either one of this Java version 11 or 17 or 21. Okay, for running at least the latest Jenkins uh, software. Okay. So once the hardware and software requirements are met, you will have two options uh, to install or run Jenkins. Uh, one option is to download this var package, okay? And uh, the other one is to download a Windows installer file. Um, if you don't have admin rights, I think you can go with var package this doesn't need admin rights but if you wanted to install it in your PC like a service then you should uh, go ahead and download the Windows installer uh, Windows installer okay so in this demo I will explain how to run Jenkins from a WAR file okay so just download click on this and download this file uh, you should have some file like this Jenkins dot var okay and um, once it is done the next step is to go and check how to run this okay so for this the user documentation is already available go click on installing Jenkins category and go to var file and uh, here you will find the command to run okay and uh, this command will work only if you have Java installed in your PC. Now open a terminal here in this folder and execute the command Java space minus jar space Jenkins dot var file. Okay. Click on next. Then wait for it to load. okay now this is ready now you can open Jenkins from this page okay copy this localhost colon 8080 port so first time when you are running it will take some time okay so once it is loaded it will ask you to input a password administrator password this password will be available on your terminal itself you can copy this password okay now you can see this is asking for a password enter password continue not required 
required then you go ahead and install the suggested plugins so this plugin installation will take some time I'll pass video here and then I will get uh, I will be back once this installation is done once all the plugins are installed uh, you will get a window to create the first admin user okay here let me create the admin user Now click save and continue. So here you can set up the Jenkins URL. Uh, so here instead of local host you can give your PC uh, host name or IP address so that you can also access this from other PCs when it is running. Okay. For now I will keep uh, the URL as localhost colon 8080 as a port number now save and finish so once everything is done you are ready to start using the Jenkins so click on start using Jenkins it will load you the dashboard okay so in dashboard you will have options to create the first job or configure the cloud or do something else with your Jenkins instance okay so for now let me add some plugin maybe yeah first we will add the job and see how to so for for creating a new job okay you will have option like create a job here with this plus symbol or you can go and click on this new item in dashboard okay then the then you need to enter the first job name maybe I will name it as canoe demo job and I wanted to create a pipeline job you can see this what is the use case of pipeline job and it's up to you if you are already familiar you can create any type of job as required okay now I will select pipeline and then click OK it creates the first job okay then you can enter the description of your job maybe can we demo job and uh, all these are options given for you to integrate with a lot of uh, tools okay so here you can see you can um, also have a github project and you can have multiple options for triggering the builds okay and the main part here is this pipeline uh, script and uh, so when the new pipeline job is created by default the script will be MP you can try some basic examples from this okay and uh, let's say hello world save okay just check whether this newly created job is working fine or not okay now click on build then the first build will be triggered and just see whether it is working fine okay now we can see here the build is successful okay so now let us go to the configuration of this job because in pipeline script we just entered we are trying to build only hello world okay now our aim is to trigger the scripts um, python scripts written for running canoe okay so i have written a ready-made script uh, 
maybe let me open to trigger some of the uh, test cases written in PyTest okay so here I wrote some test cases for starting and stopping the Kenai configuration okay and uh, for triggering this um, PyTest script I wrote a bad script maybe you can have a look into this PyCanoe report to see what is written inside it so I wrote the script where it will trigger um, all the tests available inside this test folder okay and uh, it will all I, I also gave some arguments to store the to regenerate a HTML report report okay now let me take this script path copy path now go back to the steps okay now to trigger any bad script or bad command you need to use this keyword bat okay then inside brackets you can write something like if you want to write execute a single command you can do it in double quotes but if you want to write uh, execute multiple bat commands then you need to write it in triple quotes okay so done from my side and then just call this bat script like this okay and um, also make sure you are in D drive okay D colon will change the directory to D, D drive and uh, inside D drive let's say you wanted to change to this directory then CD space okay so here you need to make sure uh, so, so Jenkins pipeline script basically treats backslashes as escape characters so to avoid that you need to give double backslash so that it will be treated as single backslash um, it is a windows thing we need to leave it away okay now you can see I am changing it to D drive and then inside D drive I am changing to this folder where my scripts are present okay from there I am executing this script bad script and inside this bad script I am triggering the pytest um, cases so it is not mandatory that you need to write a bad script and then from there you need to trigger the uh, python test cases whatever you written for KNOE so it is also possible you can directly trigger this command maybe I will show you so only thing is uh, if you write a bad script then here you can write a lot of uh, things like activating the uh, python and virtual environment available in your pc all this stuff will be automatically taken care uh, but if you wanted to execute this uh, pytest test cases which are written for KNOE directly in pipeline job then you need to also take care of activating your virtual environment okay so since I have a bad script readily available let me go back okay save build again now your job should start go to console output and check the output here you can see uh, this is triggered and then pytest automatically detected two test cases which I have written in the pytest file then it started executing let us wait for it to complete
so here you can see in back end the python uh, this jenkins job triggered the bat file and then batch file triggered this um, can i to run the test cases okay so here you can see the test cases are executed successfully now the html report is available here if you want to open you can click on this test report to see what it is open this report you can see the two test cases are executed and this is the test result okay this is the other test case which got executed okay that's it for this video we will again um, discuss some more topics in next videos thank you